Okay, so it's Sunday, September 14th. No racing in this video. We're just going to be uh, getting ready to start the project for the winter. I hope. Hopefully, I'll get to do it this time. But um, I haven't done. I, I did go racing two or three times after the last video, racing video that I did. Uh, didn't do nothing too impressive. Went two or three rounds each time. Um, car seems to be doing better. I have made some changes to it since the last time I raced. Didn't get to try it this weekend because the track wasn't doing any bracket. They was just having a test and tune. I was tempted to try it out, but uh, I did put hook my start retard back on it so that I could advance the timing up more from what it was. I was set at 35 degrees fully advanced. I think this engine would like more. It used to like more. And um, I found out I had leaner jets than I thought. So, which I guess that's what happens when you let a car sit for six years and um, you forget what was in it and what all you did. But, um, so, I tried it with the uh, fatter jets. It ran a little quicker, probably two or three numbers quicker. It only went up two sizes in front and back. I went from, I had 88s in it and thought I had 93s. But I went from 88s to 90. Once just went up two sizes made a little bit of difference, but I could not bring the timing up because I didn't have my start retard hooked up, but now I Have it on there and I brought my timing up to Let's see if you can see it there is the it's a multi-step retard and I only had the start Retard function working right now. It's got some cool options that you could probably Find some ET with if you if I was to play with it. It's it's a it's got three different stages. I just got it to where it only retards the engine, it retards the timing during cranking because my advance is locked out in the distributor, and it got to where it was stubborn to start if you had too much gas in the cylinders even at 35 degrees without any advance in the distributor, which means it's fully advanced all the time. But thanks to that start retard. During cranking, it retards it, I think, 10 degrees, so it can start. And as soon as you're out of crank mode, it goes back up to whatever timing you have it set at. So, uh, next weekend, I should hopefully be able to try it. And, and I did find out that I had the wrong gaskets, fuel bowl gaskets. I done threw everything away. I, w I was starting to make a video on that, but I didn't. Wish I would have, because I haven't made enough videos this summer. But here is the correct gasket for my 1050 Dominator. It's an 8896 model. Three circuit, I believe. And there is a difference. Uh, the other gaskets, this hole right here leads to this side or this side. It depends on which, it doesn't matter. You can flip it either way. But there's one hole, which I think if you put it against the bow, it would be this side. There's a hole right there that leads to the accelerator pump diaphragm, and that's where it squirts fuel through from, from the bowl into the metering block. And that hole was half covered because it didn't line up. Plus, if you don't get the right gaskets for the carburetor, this right here is different, and it hits the emboss where your jet screw in. I'll have to take it apart if I swap jets again before the end of the year, and I'll, I'll show you. I need to make more videos. I don't make a lot of videos through the summer. And especially this year, because I have done some racing, and I did videos of that, but we've mostly been working on the big old lean-to, my amateur carpenter job. But it's going to do its job. So I'm, I'm going to put walls up. I've already got stuff moved in it. I just couldn't wait to get stuff cleaned out of the shed, which also needs rebuilt, that lean-to right there. But all this stuff... You see, I've already built shelves in the middle because the weather can't, if it does rain, it can't really get to this unless it's an intense windstorm or something. But I'm going to slowly but surely, I'm going to plank it. And if you can see that 4x4, four four, I need to do something about that. It warped badly in the sun. The rest of them weren't too bad. But I'm going to plank it because it'll be stronger. Because I only use 4x4s. Four four, so I wish I'd use 6x6s. Six and we have shingles on it now. I don't know if you can see, and I probably should have used metal because the roof is so almost flat. I do have a little bit of incline, but not much, but I read up on some shingling how-tos, and 
they claim if you don't have a certain rake, you shouldn't use shingles, you should use metal. I wish they used metal, but it's too late. I'm going to get my use out of these no matter what. and Because I already spent the money and did the work, and it was hot. But as you can see, I got stuff out of the trailer now. And that's what I did yesterday. I moved all that stuff out of this little shed. All that stuff was in here. As you can see, I still got stuff in it, which which I took all my truck parts. Sorry about that. See, this is what I get for not making videos. I'm out of practice. Took all my truck parts. I got my room for those in here now. I got them out of the trailer. And that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to clean up the trailer and get the race car back in it. Uh, see if we can't get the electric jack to work. Fired up my generator for the first time in months. And all this stuff was up here. And all that stuff that I showed you on the shelves was back here, and it was piled up and dirty and filthy. And I had redone part of this, or fixed part of this shed. I still haven't put a wall on the outside of it. I need to figure out some kind of overhang on the roof so that the water doesn't drip on the walls, on the sides. That's what rotted out my paneling here. As you can see, I never did. I think I'm going to plank it, but I need to get some kind of overhang going. Oh need to redo the roof on this I need to redo the roof on the garage and the house there all the shingles are old but anyway we got all that stuff in here I wish I'd have put my pressure washer in a place it was easy to get to but because we're gonna have to get it out and clean the trailer out but all this stuff I moved out of the trailer see that four-wheeler and the wood splitter and the zero turn mower and my push mower was all in here and it was just filthy and full of grass and cobwebs and spiders and mice got in here and stunk this up. I'm going to scrub that out with some bleach and some cleaner and water. And I think I'm going to mop the floor with that cleaning solution. And then we're going to pressure wash it all out. I'm going to do walls and all. I'm going to, I don't want to soak these walls. I don't want to ruin them. But um, yeah, I might just scrub them down. I don't know. But yeah, and you can see it got filthy in here. I had stuff piled up on here. I still need to clean out my cabinets. I got a lot of stuff I don't need in here. Not too much up here, but I got so much room for, to put stuff for racing in here. I'm going to throw a little air compressor away. It quit working on me. I was going to fix it. Never got around to it. Got a nice generator that I need to get running again. It caught on fire. I'm thinking maybe the muffler was clogged. I'm not sure. Even though it's four cycle. That's the way it acts. And I have another. Okay, this is this little compressor is good. The little compressor back there is bad. As you can see I got all kinds of junk. Look, parts truck, parts for the truck still in here. Serpentine belt for the power stroke. I used to carry everything. Jumper cables. I didn't know I had a brand new set of jumper cables in here. A piece of wood. A drop light. I thought I lost all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's a little aluminum fixture with a towel hanger. And could hang it on a wall, but you get the idea. I gotta I'll get this thing cleaned out and more truck parts. We'll get them out of there. But the plan is, I'm gonna. I'm a little reluctant to pull this trailer with my F-150. The horsepower is there. But it is a half ton, and it is a, the aluminum body, and that truck's a little on the light side. I do have sway bars and weight bars, though. I may try to pull it empty, see how it feels, because it would be nice to be back, get back to uh, using my end clothes. I also need to clean the outside up. All right, enough talking. Let's get some work done.